important that all of the equipment that you attend to racing has been tried and tested before the event weekend. Running shoes, bike shoes, triathlon kit, cycle shorts, it's important that you know how it's going to perform for you at the event and nothing's new on race day. The equipment you need for uh, the bike section of a triathlon is a bike, bike shoes or the trainers depending on what you use, a roadworthy helmet and whatever kit you intend to wear on the day. We always recommend bike shorts for those of you competing in the relay and if you're competing in all three disciplines then a, a tri suit which will enable you to swim, bike and run all in the same outfit. We always recommend people getting their bike service prior to race weekends. There are mechanics on site over the race weekend that are there more for emergency services but if you've had your bike service prior to the race weekend you know that it's going to perform for you as you want. On race weekend you'll have to take your bike into the transition area and on doing so the marshals on transition area will check a few things before they allow you into the transition area to rack your bike. The first thing they'll check is that your brakes are in perfect working order. The other thing that they'll check that people might not be aware of is your bar end plugs. At the end of your handlebars there's normally a plastic or a metal plug that will cap the end of the bars. You have to have both bar ends in the bike for them to allow you to race. Should you be unlucky enough to get a puncture during the bike course of the triathlon, it's your responsibility to fix it. No outside assistance is allowed in a triathlon. It's worth practicing changing punctures at home before the race so that you're not caught out on race day. To change a puncture, all you need is a saddlebag, an inner tube or two, a mini pump or gas canisters, and two tyre leads. The other thing that marshals will check when registering your bike in the transition area is your helmet. They will ask you to have your helmet on your head and fastened before they allow you into the transition area and they will check that the chin strap is suitably tight so that the helmet won't come off should an accident happen during the race. The other thing race marshals will check on race day is the condition of your helmet. They'll sometimes look at the condition of the polystyrene around the helmet for cracks and damages on the helmet. If there are any cracks and damages, they possibly won't allow you to race because the helmet won't be able to perform and do its job in the event of an accident. The other piece of equipment we recommend for the bike section is a pair of shorts, whether it be triathlon shorts or cycling shorts. Both have a chamois on the inside that is going to help make the bike section that little bit more comfortable. 